Hi, I'm... It's very Billie Eilish, the Invisalign are out. I'll be two moments. Hi, I'm Cody Fern and I'm here for the Louis Vuitton show. This is the third show of Nicolas that I've been to. I'm here to pick out my look for the show tonight and I'm super excited. So here's the thing. I don't normally talk about my looks. I don't normally comment on my looks. I like to keep them open for interpretation. So I've been very consciously and purposely vague about them in the past. People seem to be really interested in how I get ready for these sorts of things and I've always been a little bit quiet about that and mysterious so now I'm going to kind of open the doors and invite you all in to my insanity nope <coughs> <laughs> I think this is beautiful, I love the coat, but it's a little bit casual, maybe. This, this. And I love the pants, they're very Bowie-esque. So this is super dainty. This is the least unfun part where I have to figure out how to do up buttons. So this is not gonna work. I think this is gonna be too small in the shoulders. <laughs> The one downside of women's wear is uh, you can't move your arms if you have broad shoulders. Okay, we're getting closer. I'm a big fan of the shorts. I think this is very like polo-esque. Maleficent disguising herself at Brown University. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I love, love, love this jacket. But um, it tells too many stories and we need to streamline it for the show, so... Sorry, Maleficent. I'm stealing this jacket. This is very Uma Thurman. It's beautiful, but it's just not what I'm feeling at the moment. I need something more earthy. This is certainly something that I've been drawn to in the past. I feel it doesn't really communicate who I am right now. I love the shoulders, I love the patterning, I really enjoy the buttons, I enjoy how it sits, but it's not, it doesn't make me hungry to express something. I want something a little bit edgier, darker. I really love this jacket. The jacket is definitely, yes, the pants are definitely, yes, but not with this look. This is very bell-bottom 70s. This is very much in the direction of the new look that I want to go. So we'll try on a pair of black pants. I mean, this is a look. <laughs> These are a bit too tight. Oh, it's striking, but it's too much in one thing. This is the piece. This with this, it's a bit like denim on denim. So let's try on some different black pants. That with combat boots, that's fun. So I'm a little bit in love with the jacket. If it goes missing, it has nothing to do with me. This is a women's wear jacket, but I'm a man and I'm wearing it. So it's a men's jacket. See how ridiculous it is? Okay. This is kind of how I'm feeling. It's tight, it's form fitting, it's elegant. It's dark, it feels very grounded. These pants fit amazingly. It's about owning who I am at this point in time and being as truthful and as authentic to it as I possibly can. What? I wanna wear it. I am looking to do something new, something cleaner, something more grounded, and then there's this cape, <laughs> which is kind of undeniable. It's so beautiful. <sighs> oh boy. Um, what do I want to do? 
to say? Let's rewrite the narrative. Sparkly, glittery, feminine peace or strong king who has conquered an empire and is now enjoying his spoils on his throne because of how hard he worked. We're in France. Can I not just be a man who is wearing a really great cape? Look at all of the jewels that I've collected from all of the kingdoms that I've conquered. I guess I'm gonna to have to be a dragon slayer. <laughs> I think I'm gonna to have to wear it. I'm gonna wear the cape. I'm gonna wear the cape. So we're on our way to the show. I'm super excited. I'm nervous. We just passed the Eiffel Tower. That's really cool. It's my second time seeing the Eiffel Tower. But I think it's so symbolic of France, so. I don't think it's about being understood. It's about me trying to understand myself and trying to understand the moment. And for those people who understand what I'm doing, perhaps they're going through that same thing or feeling that same thing, and that's really exciting. The story that I'm trying to tell is not one of gender bending, but one of, I'm gonna do it my way, and I'm not going to be limited by somebody else's interpretation of the gender of a clothing. That seems silly. I thought it was spectacular. I was, my breath was so taken away by the orchestra, I had to take a moment to focus on the clothes, which were so refined and so beautiful. There are so many jumpsuits that I want to steal. So be sure to watch out for me wearing one of those cropping up soon. I thought it was a natural progression of what Nicolas has been doing. It's, he's always working with anachronisms and to have this orchestra and be calling back to Victorian times, very Kubrick-esque, was breathtaking. The one that I loved the most was a red leather jumpsuit, like a snake skin uh, leather jacket, so refined, it was so cool, it was very Matrix. If you looked at all of the clothing, what you saw was uh, gender neutral, wasn't a show for men or for women. That's been imposed on it, right? This is women's wear, but when you looked at the clothes that he designed, anybody can wear them. They're clothes for everybody, which is how they should be, and they're strong, and they're sexy, and they have character. Uh, Nicolas Jusquet is really uh, on the front line of that, and that's why I love his work so much. It's so exciting. If you're a woman, you're feminine. If you're a man, you're masculine, and you know what? You have the other in each. So all of the worry about it, just wear what you want to wear. That's it. That's the show.
thank you for watching and following along. It's been fun to share some things and hopefully they've meant something. Um, it's been so fun to be a part of this and I'm just so grateful to Louis Vuitton and Nicolas Gisquet and it's exciting. Off into the night. Oh, I didn't see you there. Hi, my name's Cody Fern and <laughs> I'm not doing that. Okay. I'm just here in my own world, right? Um, Okay, let me do that again. <laughs> okay, what am I saying? No, but what am I saying? <laughs> Give me a character and I can play a character. I think that I bring who, what's going on inside of me to the character. Yeah. No. <laughs>